From involuntary movements to unexplainable symptoms, today on Fact Space, we're looking at all you need to know about alien hand syndrome. Alien hand syndrome is a diverse ailment that affects a person's ability to control one or more of their limbs. The condition is associated with many different illnesses and typically affects the hands, specifically the left side. Today we'll be taking a look at exactly what Alien Hand Syndrome, abbreviated as AHS, is and all of the need-to-know facts about how it affects people who live with it. Why AHS Happens Alien Hand Syndrome is often the result of a disconnect between specific motor functions in the brain. Instead of acting normally, where a human would be able to move their limbs without any problem, someone suffering from AHS may have issues with their primary motor cortex and their premotor cortex. These motors exist near each other in the frontal lobe of the brain and are responsible for many diverse functions. The primary disconnect that occurs is when the two motors are unable to function together. However, they are still acting separately and thus can act out sporadically. Many studies have been conducted to take a closer look at how and why these functions may act in this way, but research only goes as far as identifying a foreign source as the culprit, hence the term alien. But how is alien hand syndrome diagnosed? Our next fact covers it. AHS Diagnosis Possibilities The frontal lobe is the largest section of the brain and is responsible for the majority of a person's movements. It is the zone that houses instincts and reflexes, as well as the major motors that help a human to function normally. Because of this, if someone injures their frontal lobe, a consequence may come in the form of alien hand syndrome. The corpus callosum is another exceptionally important part of the brain, as it spans one-third of a foot at roughly 10 centimeters long and connects two cerebral hemispheres. This allows the separate hemispheres, which are responsible for many functions, to exchange information. When damaged, a person's dominant hand is typically affected with compulsive movements caused by alien hand syndrome. In most cases, AHS involves involuntary movements, where things are displaced or moved by the alien hand. However, when it comes to specific lobes of the brain being damaged, such as the occipital and parietal, alien hand syndrome can have a different effect altogether. Usually, this form of AHS responds by pulling away from things instead of unwillingly grasping them. Unfortunately, though, there is no treatment for any form of alien hand syndrome, although there are ways to make the symptoms a bit more bearable. Treatment One popular type of treatment that works primarily in AHS caused by damage to the frontal lobe of the brain requires a person to hold an object in their affected hand. Typically, those with alien hand syndrome will attempt to grab things as they walk past them. Therefore, by holding something, this can help reduce this involuntary reaction. Usually, canes are used, because despite the fact that physical support isn't needed, holding a cane can help the affected hand from acting out while allowing the person to focus on something specific. Alternatively, in other forms of alien hand syndrome, although there isn't an official cure for it, someone who suffers from it may heal partially over time. Depending on the cause of AHS, within the course of several years, the affected hand can be taught to act out specific movements and symptoms may be reduced significantly. In other cases, the affected hand may also be physically restrained by the functioning hand to prevent unwanted reactions. These methods of dealing with alien hand syndrome have been discovered over time, since the first documented case of AHS in 1908. History Originally issued in German by a neuropsychiatrist named Ken Goldstein, the qualified medical practitioner wrote about a woman who had suffered a serious stroke. When she was examined, Goldstein described how her right arm, which was her dominant side, functioned normally, but her left arm carried out unexplainable actions as if it didn't even belong to her. The woman felt as if her arm was being controlled by a foreign entity due to the confusing movements it would make without her permission. This included grabbing things that she did not choose to grab and being unable to release them. Alien hand syndrome has progressed medically to include additional causes, diagnoses, and treatment plans. The condition has also shown in advancements and raised awareness through forms of pop culture described in our final fact. Pop Culture In 1964, almost 60 years after Alien Hand Syndrome was discovered, Dr. Strangelove, a film directed and produced by Stanley Kubrick, displayed a character who appeared to have AHS, which earned the condition the nickname Dr. Strangelove Syndrome. Sci-fi author Bernard Werber created many literary works, including a short story collection that featured a police officer whose Alien Hand Syndrome plays a role in a murder. 
Or in the case of Parasite, a Japanese animated show where extraterrestrial beings have actually taken over a character's arm. Between the real and the fictional depictions of AHS, sufferers have also received a lot more publicity and research has continued to try and make sense of the rare condition.